Hall & Wilcox has a commitment to pro bono because it recognises that as legal professionals we have an obligation to give back to the community, to use the skills that we have uh, for the betterment of the community in which we live. Why do we do pro bono? We as a firm do pro bono and I do pro bono um, work primarily for, for two reasons. Uh, the first being that um, it's important for us to make a contribution to the community in which we live. Um, and the second reason is because of how it makes us feel. Uh, I've undertaken pro bono and community work uh, since I've been in practice. Many of my most profound and valuable learnings and most enjoyable experiences have been undertaken pro bono and community work. I, I like to think that one of the, um, the biggest reasons that as lawyers we are really in a privileged position um, and there are people that really need um, law services out there that maybe can't afford it or um, that are really struggling in their day-to-day -day life. So I think it's an obligation on the profession to give back. I studied law because I wanted to help people and I think that's probably true of a lot of lawyers and certainly a lot of lawyers that I've interacted with at Hall & Wilcox. Uh, I think sometimes in our busy day-to-day -day practice, as satisfying as that can be, you sometimes don't get that warm, fuzzy feeling that you've actually sort of contributed to the community or actually sort of helped someone. And I think um, that's the feeling that you get from pro bono. You know, as a law student at uni, all you want to do is be able to give people advice who don't understand the law and you come to a law firm and, and we often deal with sophisticated clients which is brilliant for us because it's challenging and really refines our skills but it's also really important to be able to uh, give people the advice that they need and that they can't uh, obtain and when commercial firms are able to go out and give pro bono advice it's just the best way to ensure that we are uh, staying humble and staying true, but also remembering why we maybe got into the profession. I think people get the kind of the personal satisfaction in the sense that they are contributing to something that's far greater than, you know, than just their kind of life as a, as a lawyer um, here. Um, they're really working towards a greater cause. A very clear sense of reward that you get when you're acting for someone that would not have otherwise had access to legal services and when you can see the difference that your contribution has made um, to a circumstance that might have ended very differently if you didn't step in and provide that assistance. I think there's a very real um, personal sense of reward from that um, which is part of the reason why I became a lawyer in the first place. It's important to not lose sight while working in a commercial practice that that is probably why we all started off where we did. It's very aligned with our firm's purpose and aligned with my values to make a, a contribution uh, to the community and one way in which we can do that is by undertaking this work. Uh, for me uh, the benefit that I have realised by undertaking pro bono and community work uh, by some way outweighs the cost of undertaking that work. I feel like I've got a lot more out of it than I put into it. I really encourage everybody you know, to actively look to undertake pro bono and community work and to make a contribution to the community in which we work and live.